runny noses and itchy eyes. Everybody my wife wants to know, my father-in-law wants to know, are the hot and dry Santa Ana winds actually increasing your chances for allergies, making life miserable? Of course, uh, Dr. Chefu is here. Talking about preventive maintenance for the allergies, is there something, with Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Rob. Oh my goodness, this weather is making people miserable. It what, really is. It kind of summarize exactly what's going on sure, right now. Sure, Rob, what's happening is, you know, with the Santa Anas, we're getting all these winds, and unfortunately, they're blowing in a lot of the pollens. Right, right, right. And also, even like mold from as far away as Arizona. So really stimulating. From Arizona? From Arizona. Wow. Okay, is there actually an allergy season? Well, in San Diego, because we have plants all year round, right. it's really a year round problem. Right, you know, it's right. a bit more maybe in the, in the spring season, but certainly we have spring essentially all year here. And of course, this kind of weather doesn't help at all. So because of that, we're more susceptible to this kind of thing? We or? are, we're yeah. more susceptible. We see more symptoms, allergists are seeing patients with, and you know, the allergy symptoms patients are all complaining of yeah. the, the itching, the tearing, the watery eyes, the runny right. nose, the scratchy throat. And so the, the Santa Ana winds is bringing stuff you mentioned from everywhere, from Arizona, yes. and it just compounds everything. So if, if you're at an average level of allergies, when this kicks up, much worse, you really do feel it yes, a lot. Definitely. Uh, Let's talk about the pollen and what, what is the effect of that, transporting the pollen from place to place? Because obviously we don't really see much of it. Of course, so we're feeling it. The people you know, yeah. with underlying allergies will have just chronic symptoms, but unfortunately what happens when we really kick this, uh, the wind up right. is the pollen counts go up dramatically. There's increased allergen mm -hmm. and then there's symptoms for people that have underlying allergies are just much worse. Yeah. The symptoms, because I, my wife always thinks when I go like that, oh, it's allergies. But I say, no, I don't really have allergies right now. She yes. does. She always thinks, how do I know if maybe I, I'm suffering a little bit? Maybe the levels are so high that even it's affecting me where I normally don't have that. Well, that may be part of it. We know there are various right. environmental factors sure. as well, but the typical allergy or hay fever-like symptoms are very specific. The tearing eyes, the scratchy right. throat, the runny nose, the coughing, the sneezing, those are symptoms of, of underlying allergies. Okay, the bottom line here, people are miserable, the weather's making it worse. Treatments, what can we do? Do we have to go to the doctor? Do we need a shot? Can we take stuff over the counter? So so the the simple answer is do some simple things at home. Sure. So you want to keep the doors and windows closed to okay. keep the pollen counts and the dust out of your home. Okay. You want to use your humidifiers, your air purifiers. Make sure your filters are changed in your system. Make oh, sure that's they, good they're advice. not dirty because yeah. we always forget to do sure. that. And then there's some very simple over-the-counter treatments that we can do. Um, for example, the things that are causing our congestion, uh, where we're having sinus pressure and, and headaches, mm -hmm. there are various kinds of medications that we can take. Now, one of the things that works great is products like Claritin or Allegra. Mm -hmm. Because they're antihistamines, they'll block a lot of the symptoms, but they won't make you drowsy, unlike Benadryl and some of those other over-the-counter treatments. So during the daytime, if, as we all have to work, right. you want to use something that's non-sedating or non-drowsy. Okay. There are nasal sprays that can be used. Um, but we have to be careful with, instead of using uh, something like Afrin or Neosinephrine, which works for a couple of days, the problem with those, Raul, is your nose will become addicted to it and you have to use it more and That's more what I was and more. Say, yeah. So you want to use something like a nasocort. Nasocort's an over-the-counter steroid spray, mm. just works locally, so you're not going to get like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwartz right. It's going to basically help in about two weeks, it will reduce your symptoms, and it, long term use, you can use that for months at a time. Oh, wow. So um, one other nice thing is you can use some drops in the eyes. There are like some salt water drops. Those dry eyes, use. another the major dry problem. Dry eyes are yeah. common. There are other types of drops you can use that have an antihistamine in them that will reduce the redness and the itching to the eyes as well. My wife has had such a problem. This is singular. Is that something that's it's another medication? Yeah. Yes. How does that work? Because so, she's concerned. She should. I said, you know what? If you have it, you should take it because you're miserable. Exactly. So a lot of these medications that are safe over the counter okay. have this antihistamine-like effect, where they're blocking histamine. Histamine, yeah. we know, is a major factor that's causing a lot of our underlying allergy symptoms. Allergy shots. At what allergy point do you shots, get? are really helpful, especially, for example, in kids. Some recent studies right. that came out through the FDA showed that allergy shots can reduce the progression to asthma. Allergy shots are a lot better than they used to be. They don't hurt as much. You can get up to a, a safe and effective dose in about two to three months. Wow. And the treatments for those shots can last for many years, so very effective. It can last for years. Okay. They can. So maybe ask your doctor about it if you're wondering. Dr. Yeah. Chefu, we thank you for your time as Thanks, always. Raul. Good luck to everybody out there. We know it's rough, shall we?